Okay. Greetings Prika, it's nice having you here again. Uh, back in Bucharest, same place as last time. So how is to be back here? Oh, it's so perfect for us to come back here and play for this awesome audience. We have a lot of fans here and our show is always it's too much energy and this is awesome for us. We love to come back here soon. No, I think it was seven months ago that we played here in the first time. Yeah, it was yes. in June last yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. It's awesome to come back here. But now with, with this destruction, it's a huge influence for us. And this is awesome. Yeah, as you mentioned, destruction, you are back again with them on tour. You've been, this is the second time you are with them on tour. So how was... Uh, this tour so far is like three weeks since you've been on the road with them. Yes, our first tour with, with them here in Europe was in September and October, the, the last year, and it was amazing. It was a perfect tour, I mean, and a lot of parties <laughs> and enjoying a lot and speak about the, the men stuff, the men shit things, <laughs> many funny things. These guys are a big friend of us. Uh, it, this is a huge honor for us because Destruction is uh, one of the most big trash metal band in the world and one of the most big influences for, for Nervosa too. And, and now we're doing a tour again with them. It's, it's a dream. I mean, it's, it's amazing to be here doing a tour around the world around the Europe and, but for us it's so special we are from Brazil and, and for us we are so far from here and it's almost impossible to do this and we are lucky girls we are lucky girls and we are so happy to be here again last time I spoke with you we spoke about uh, your last release Agony but still the fans over Europe seems to enjoy it yes it's a it's a, this new album is so fucking great for us. We we work it a lot in this album, and but when I start to to write the, this album, we had a short time, something like uh, two or three months just to do all the album. But we had a lot of ideas in our mind. And it was easy for, for, for some things. It was completely easy. And we recorded in the USA. And, and then we started the, the tour in USA, Canada, and here in Europe too, in Brazil and South America. And we love this album, but we are so excited to do another album because we have other drummer now. And something's changed a little bit because it's the other way that she plays. And we would love to do one new album. I know it's this, this early to speak about this because we're releasing a new album in, in July. In June? June. In that July. June. And, but we are so excited to do a new album. As you come from Brazil, Sepultura is one of your uh, best influences of Nervosa, right? Yes, yes, of course. Sepultura is the most big metal band in Brazil. It's one of the biggest bands in the world. It's a huge influence for us. I love Sepultura, I love old Sepultura, and I, I like the, the new Sepultura too. It's a different band, but I like it. It's a very quality band, and I respect them too much. It's a huge musicians and the guys are so so important for the, the metal scene. J not just in Brazil but in, in the world too. But we have a lot of good bands in Brazil. And the other bands from Brazil uh, influence us like uh, Corsos, Crisium too, and Hato de Porão, and Torture Squad. These bands are amazing for us too. 
speaking more about your shows, you have played also the big summer festivals and then you are playing on these small venues in the clubs. So how can you handle both the big crowd and the small crowd? I love the both, but it's completely different, of course. When we play in a big festival in the summer, for example, we play for a lot of people. It's a huge stage and uh, the energy is a little bit far because the people are far. But it's crazy because we can find many guys from the many bands that we love. An example, Cannibal Corpse and Creator and Annihilator and Vader and many, many bands. This is like a dream. We are in the backstage enjoy with these guys and oh fuck, we are in, living a dream. But when we play in a small venue, as example, we have a more energy because all the, the people and the, all the audience is more close, it's closer. And this is amazing, the feeling that, oh, the energy, you can feel more the energy, it's, it's special. The same way, it's a different way, but it's the, the it's so special. The, about the intense, it's so special. It's actually more stronger. Yes. So, all the time being on road, uh, did you observe that you made also new fans, maybe? Tonight, do you mean? Also tonight and in general. Okay. All the time you yes. make new fans. Yes, uh, we are a new band. We will listen our second album now. and. We can preserve the, the our audience, it's growing, yes, this is awesome, awesome, completely awesome, and I mean, in this tour with the destruction, we can get more fans, we can get a lot of more fans, because destruction, uh, there are many, many fans, have many fans, and we can get a little bit for us, you know, it's so yeah. special. I know that you have speak um, a lot about Brazil that you haven't seen, uh, you you know, in a country. Uh, people didn't see you very well and actually it's hard for you to get even shows in, in your own country, but for me it's a bit strange because I see metal bands which used to tour South America and even visit Brazil no matter what genre, death metal, black metal and so on. So why is it hard for you to get shows in your own country? As, uh, and some years ago it was not hard to do some shows there, but now we have an economic problem in our country, a serious economic economic problems in our country because it's a very corrupt country it's the same in all the Latin America it's the same problem and now we will try to do some some shows in Brazil our next month is just to do sh some shows in Brazil but the unique problem is about the economy because the people don't have any money to do nothing and but we will try we'll try because it's almost one year that I almost don't play in Brazil. It's not our country, we have a lot of fans there. And we need to do this, we need to try this. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I say. Do you consider that you are feeling more good, for example, as you are touring also now in Europe? Are you feeling good here or maybe in USA rather than in your own country? Oh, it's a different scene. It's so special. In the same, the the same intensity. Is this the? It's it's so good to do. It's, it's different. I, I I will try to explain. But here in Europe, example, uh, we can find all the bands here, and everything that's happening in the metal scene ha happens here. Yeah. This is the cent, the center of the the scene in the world. This is amazing, and many huge and summer festivals just for the metal this is incredible this is so special and example in in usa and canada is a different country it's completely different but the things happens about the scene is almost the same and it's a huge country usa and canada 
and you you can do many shows there too but it's a little bit small but the shows are more ener energetic than here the yeah. people are crazy and but the things happen very well there because it's a rich country you know but in the Latin America is the same it doesn't matter if it's Brazil or Argentina or Mexico it's the same uh, everybody's completely crazy and when we play there the people just completely crazy and oh my god you're so fucking it's the different way and it's more energetic shows in the world it happens in Latin America and yeah. many all the shows you have many moshes and the guys banging all the time and it is amazing it's so important the same way but the different styles you know but it's so important the same way what are the places you would you like to play next time that you haven't been and maybe on social media, on Facebook, do you see comments from different fans that are asking, come in my country or... Yeah, I would love to play in, in some countries that have never been there, for yeah. example. And, oh, I don't remember exactly all the, the countries now, but I can, I can speak some. Example, Dinamark, we've never been there. And you see Greece we've never been there too and in Asia Asia and Africa too Asia example Japan China we've never been there Indonesia and I would love to play in Australia too oh yeah yeah there are metal fans as well yes 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 I would love to play there and I would love to play in Africa example in South Africa it's important thing at the same time the same way and I would love to play in everywhere I love to be on the road and play in a lot of different countries for different people I love I've seen that you have a new drummers so P2 Fer has actually left the band so what is the reason she left the band and uh, how is the new drummer covering the road for us it's so intense and in our last year we passed it all the year out of our home and it's so hard to be on the road and she missed your family a lot and she didn't agree some things in because she's think different way and this has happened it is normal and all the bands this has happened and we need to respect the, the, the different things and unfortunately she left to quit the band in the middle of our tour but, but this is normal too I, I understand but now we have I think we have the, the right girl because she loved she completely loved to be with us and to be on the road to be here in the night she she loves to do a new friends example and speak with the other people she, she's happy and this is the, the most important thing and she plays very well she's is a amazing drummer we are very very happy because we we have she's beside of us and because of this, I, I say for you that I'm so excited to do a new album because she plays a different way than Peachy. And I think there's some things will be changing in the band, but not too much. I think just some things because the, the main writers, it's me and Fernanda and the band will be the same. But the intensity will be different and I'm so excited start to write a new album with the Luana, Luana the Mito, it's an amazing girl. Yeah, but you, before her, you had also two other drummers, if I know well. Uh, uh, I understand, sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, I said that before Luana you had other drummers. Ah, yes, yes, we, we have uh, a help uh, from Samantha, from, from Canada. She just helped us in our 
two tours that we had and in USA and Canada because Picture Quick event five days before this tour and she helped us in this direction tour too she's amazing drummer and she's a big friend of mine I miss her a lot because she's a huge friend of mine but she lived in so far away from us we preferred to get one Brazilian drummer and the distance will be a problem for us but she's amazing well it was my pleasure to talk with you again uh, it was a great show and hope to see you once again the third time so thank you and cheers from Antichrist Metal Zion thank you for supporting us for this opportunity it's so special for us so important for us here just releasing our stuff and thank you so much thank you for the audience too and thank you for you for this job thank you